time. So this arrangement was made up with Roland's built-in patterns. What about if you'd like to create your own patterns? Press the pattern arrangement button until it flashes right there and then go ahead and press enter. Now you'll notice that uh, you can either be in preset mode or in the song mode. I think I might have mentioned before we have a hundred places in which we can record song patterns here. And we can do that in one or two different ways, either in real time or in step mode. So let's go ahead and start off in real time. So we'll select that guy and press enter. And as soon as I press enter, a couple of things will happen. First, you'll hear a metronome play along with, and also you'll notice the record button begins to flash. Let's actually bring down the metronome just for a moment so I, so I can just kind of show you around this screen in silence. Now you notice that we're looping around one measure. That's the length of our pattern set up here. You can set that to whatever setting you have there. And you'll notice that as soon as you go more than one measure, there's a little arrow there because that's showing you more than just the one measure that's up here on the screen. Let's just start out with a one measure one here. And uh, there's also a listing of all the drum sounds along the side of the screen. These refer to these record track buttons right down here. You can set your time signature here on the bottom left hand corner here and just left, sorry, just to the right of the uh, time signature is the quantize setting which will auto correct your timing to whatever setting you have here. I'll just go ahead and leave it at 16th notes. Okay, here we go. So now we're going around just a single measure here. You can go ahead and press the rhythm pad buttons here to go between the various sets of drum sounds. Let's go ahead and set it to uh, the upper set, which is kick, snare, and so on. And as it loops around, let's drop in some parts. Here we go. course then you can go down to the lower ones here and let me drop in say a cowbell now if you want to delete anything you can go ahead and hold down the delete button and then whatever you want to delete you'll notice that the do you see the cowbell which is deleted right across there let it go and then you can add another part Cool. 